Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Welcome to the forest. We're in a beautiful clearing with all these flowers just waiting to bloom. I hope you have your counting hat on, because we're going to count all the way up to 100 today. And we are going to use a very special tool to help us. Here is our mighty hundreds chart. A hundreds chart starts at 1 and goes all the way up to 100. The numbers are all in order and follow a pattern. Wow, a hundred, that's a lot of numbers, but together we can count them all. Let's start counting the numbers in the first row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, and we're all out of boxes in the first row. So we have to jump to the beginning of the second row. Oh, hey, look at this little tree frog. Maybe it can help us. Now you've probably counted to 10 before, but do you remember what comes next? That's right. The next row starts with 11, then 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, on to the next row. Ready, Froggy? Jump! And here we have 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. One more row and then we're gonna take a quick break. Ready, Froggy? Jump! 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Whoa. Okay, now we've counted so many numbers already. I think it's good to stop for a minute and take a look at them. But look at the pink numbers. They all have a zero in them. Uh, what were their names again? Oh yeah, that's right. 10, 20, 30, 40. Let's take a look at the rest of the numbers in this pink column before going on. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, these numbers all have zeros at the end, and knowing their names will help with the rest of our counting. Uh, but where did we leave off before? Oh yeah, that's right. 38, 39, 40. Right. Now what comes next? We'll look at the red numbers. In this red column, they all have a 1 at the end. 1, 11, 21, 31. So after 40 comes 41. And next, the orange numbers all have a 2 at the end. 2, 12, 22, 32. So after 41 is 42. Okay, let's just finish this row now. We already have 41 and 42. Then next is 43, 44, 45. And after 45 is 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Froggy, jump! Wow, we're already counting so high. Uh, look at the red column. Remember, each number has a 1 at the end. So what comes after 50? Well, next comes 51, then 52, then 53. And if you forget, just look at the end of the last number you counted. At the end of 53 is a 3. So what comes after 3? 4. So after 53 is 54. That's right. Then 55, then 56. And what comes after 56? Well, what comes after 6? 7. So, after 56 is 57, then 58, then 59, and 60. After 59 is 60, because after 5 is 6. Then, since a 0 is at the end of 60, uh, Froggy, would you please? We start all over again with 61. 62, 63, 64, 
And what comes next? Well, look at all the dark green numbers. Well, what's at the end of all those numbers? Five. That's right. So after 64 is 65. Then 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. And you know what comes next? 71. And after 71 is 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Just like before, all of the red numbers have a 1 at the end. So after 80, we start with, come on, Froggy, 81. Then 82, then 83, 84, 85. And after 85 comes, well, let's look at the light blue numbers. They all end in 6. So after 85 is 86. And then 87, 88, 89, 90. Wow, we only have one more row to go. You've counted all the way up to 90 so far. Come on, Froggy, let's jump on down to the final row. What comes after 90? You got it, 91. Then 92, then 93, then 94, 95, 96, 97, 90. All the numbers in purple end in Eight. So we know that 98 is next, and after 98 is 99, and then, drum roll please, 100! Wow! We started at 1 and counted all the way up to 100 on the 100 chart. We will explore this more soon, but in the meantime, you can always practice on your own using the hundreds chart. And as you're counting, try coloring your own chart just like this one. And you can always come back to this video if you want to count to a hundred again. Until then, see you in the next video, my mighty friend.